put all your stuff down for starters. Okay. All right, guys. So I know that we have reviewed theme for in the past, right? In the beginning of the year. But we're going to start talking about that again with our fantasy books. And I was having a conversation with my family this weekend, and I came back from my vacation. We were talking about what our favorite fairy tales and our favorite um, movies were growing up. I said Pocahontas, and my sister said Cinderella. Okay, so think about, give me a thumbs up if you've seen Cinderella before. Okay, so that got me thinking about this lesson that we're going to do today and learning things from those stories. So I started thinking about what is the theme or what is the life lesson that Cinderella is teaching us? So I started thinking about, okay, well, she's super kind to everyone, even though not everyone is kind to her. So go ahead if you agree. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think that one of the life lessons to that story could be always be kind to everyone? Yeah. Yeah. So after I started thinking about that, yes, I have a clear theme, always be kind to everyone. But then I started thinking about, well, how does that theme apply to me? How does that apply to my life? So I started thinking, okay, well, my mission is to be kind to everyone that I meet and to help everyone oh. that I meet, right? So that goes along with what I do every day. So that's going to be the challenge that we're going to do today. We're going to talk about themes and we're going to talk about how it applies to our life. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you're ready for that. Um. Okay, so... We talked about Cinderella. Do you guys have any other themes that you think Cinderella shows? Any life lessons that Cinderella shows besides what I said? Yeah. So um, her stepsisters are like um, making fun of her and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they always think that they're like way better than her. Mm -hmm. But they're just judging the outside, not the inside and how and, um, who she truly is. Yeah. So how could that apply to your life? How could that apply to fifth graders or to your peers? Um, you could just... Um, get to know somebody before you start. Um, yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover, right? Yeah, very good. Okay, so now I want you to think about the theme to your own book clubs. What is the author's lesson? Hey, guys, let me check. You can just leave it for now. Okay, so think about the life lesson that your book is trying to teach you. Okay, so now I want you to face you towards your groups. And I'm going to give you about 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Think about what is the theme of your book club book. Okay, so what is the author trying to teach you here? What do you think the purpose of the author writing this book? What do you think it's trying to teach you from what you know so far? Yeah, because when she got out, yeah. she said the When she got the job, okay. she was like, oh no, I'm going to have to do that. Okay. Yeah, so then she prepared. Okay, so how does that apply to your life? Do you see you anything that applies to like, you know, what you have? How does that apply to you? If that's the theme, the life lesson that the author is trying to teach you, does that apply to any of your life? Do you what you have? I have Okay. How does that apply to your life? So I'm going to ask Malachi to share with us. Um, what was the theme? The theme is objects in the mirror aren't always as they appear. Okay. And what I think about that is like... How it applies to your life? Yeah, how it applies to my life is that you shouldn't judge yourself if you mess up, if you are bad at a sport, because you can always get better, and you could always come back. If you, if you, you can take a look at all these football players, all these artists, like all these people that keep putting you back, you yeah. know, they've been bad and messed up, like Alex Smith. 
I can't name a bunch of lists. Okay. Yeah, I love your examples. Thank you. Hey, if that, if you resonated with that, if that made sense to you, maybe that applies to your life. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, now I have another example. Frozen. We all know Frozen. Shake your head if you've seen Frozen. Yes. Okay, so this is Frozen 1. Frozen 1. Okay, so what is the theme? I'm going to have you turn and talk. What is the life lesson? I'm going to give you about five seconds, and then I'm going to pull a stick. What is the life lesson or the theme of Frozen? Okay, turn and talk with your groups. Go. Okay, yeah. Like Han. Like Han. Okay, so you have some examples to back that up? Okay, can I, I like your theme. Can you say that in front of the group? And then can you give your example to evidence to back that up? Okay. Do you have something to add? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so one of the themes. Now, we've talked about, can there be more than one theme? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Is it possible that authors want to teach you more than one lesson in either a movie or a book? Yes. Absolutely. So I heard a good answer. Where was the theme of uh, Frozen? Um, like, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. Who said that? Okay, Peyton had a good uh, text evidence to add on. So can you back that theme up with some evidence? Uh, yeah, I, um, it's kind of like that because at the beginning, Hans was, like, really good. And then Hans wasn't so good in that be like... Yeah, yeah. So we kind of wanted to suspend our our um, opinion on him until the end, right? Yeah, because yeah, we talked about suspending our, our be beliefs until the end. Okay, I'm going to go to this group and then I'll go to Laura. Yeah, what's your example um, of the theme? So, so we think that the theme is it's okay to be different because Elsa, her parents always raise her high her powers, and her powers could be good. Yes. And um, she got really like upset that she did all that stuff so she like basically ran away mm -hmm. and so and then at the end she realizes that she can use her powers for good so basically that's why we did that okay so did you talk about how that could apply to your own life yeah, yeah. do you want to share a little bit of that Lena? okay so how like whenever you see someone who doesn't believe in the same stuff as you do mm -hmm. you shouldn't judge them because everyone's different so there's no such thing as weird yeah, and differences is how we grow, right? So if we're around the same type of people all the time, we're never going to grow, are we? Yeah. Okay, this group, yeah. Um, you should be grateful for who you have in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's an example of that in Frozen? Um, she had her sister not meaning to, mm -hmm. but then at the end they got back together and they were all happy. Yes, very good one. Um, I'm kind of gonna um, kind of add for what um, never does a book like it's called. Uh huh. It's like um at the end, kind of what Brielle said, like Elsa fixed everything that she did mm -hmm. and like made it everything good and um just like made everything better, nice and sunny, just not very cloudy. And they and they um the people in Arendelle uh, always judged her because she used her powers for the game, yeah. so they didn't see her as she was. Yeah, very good. Last one. Uh, I thought of one. It was like, no that. matter who you are or what you are, you're you. Mm. What, does that, what does that mean to you? This relates to like she did She always wanted to hide herself from other people mm -hmm. because she thought she might hurt them like she hurt her sister. Yeah. And she was scared of like bringing herself out. Yeah, I agree. How can that apply? I really like what you said. How could that apply to us every day? How could that apply to your life? Taking that lesson into what you do every day. Maybe sometimes there's something you want to do. Mm -hmm. Let's say you want to ask like your friends for money. Okay. To get the store, <laughs> and then you don't want to ask them because you're like afraid they they're gonna say no. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. I went to Elliot, what Elliot said, um, um, 
me and in front of him. There you were basically hanging. Just lost it. That's okay. If you think of it, you let me know. Okay? Raise your hand and let me know if you think of it, okay? okay. All right, so this is going to be our last example before I send you off to do your work, okay? Your work today is to going to be thinking about your theme of your book that we've already talked about and put write down examples in your notebook about how that applies to your life. So we're going to be looking for one to two examples in your notebook today so of just... how the theme applies to your life, how your book club theme applies to your life. So it's Question. just like, so it's like a, a themes that uh, comply to your life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, way to put it in your own words. Uh, uh, not quite yet. Okay, so we have been reading our read aloud, The Thief of Always. And this is our fantasy book. There's lots of fantasy things in there, like there's magic, the house. We're learning about these crazy characters like Jive and uh, Rictus, right? So. What do you think? I'm going to have you turn and talk one last time with your groups. What do you think the theme of The Thief of Always is? What is the author trying to teach you from this fantasy book? Turn and talk. Go. I can't trust everybody. I think it's just that everybody is different. All of this. Don't be afraid of everything. What do you guys think? So what is the author trying to teach you from the theme of Maybe to... Stay strong in the time. Why do you say that? Okay. Okay. So you back that up with evidence. So how could that theme apply to your life? That everything isn't how it seems. Very, very good. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to those those last questions. Okay, I want to give you some time to work. So your goal, so you wrote theme at the top of your page to start this lesson. What I want you to do today is read however many pages your group needs to read, whether that's 20, 23, 17, whatever your group is. 
okay? And I want you to write down at least one theme. Remember, we can have more than one lesson in a story. So if there is one more, more than one theme, go ahead and do that. But what I really wanna see in your notebooks today is how that theme applies to your life, okay? We're learning lessons not only from our fiction books or our nonfiction books, but we're learning it from our fantasy books too. Okay, do I have any questions? No. Okay, um, Jacob, can you remind me what we're gonna do today? Um, What's the goal? Freedom for our family. Uh-huh, and what are you focusing on? Um, uh, yes, the theme, and then what? Oh. Uh, how does um, the theme apply to your own life? Exactly, okay, here's what we're gonna do. It is boys day, so we're gonna have a competition. I'm going to give the boys a compliment if they get to their spots quietly. Then I'm gonna let the girls do that same thing. You have the opportunity to learn, to get two different, I'm gonna have you guys stay, two different compliments. So let's start with the boys. Boys, show me how you can stand up quietly and get to your spot for one compliment. Just putting first things first. Good job, all the boys getting out their books. Ready to read. All right, boys, really good job. First compliment. Girl, show them how to do it. You, you, you. to talk to you because it's been a week or two since I talked to you last about this. Okay, what pages are we on? Um, are we all about in the same spot? I'm on 100. 100? Uh, yeah, I'm on 150. Okay, where are we at? I'm on 113. Okay, okay. okay. so we'll brainstorm at the end and see what pages we need to end on today. Okay, so we talked about the theme, so can you guys remind me what theme your book is in? Expect the unexpected. I think... I don't agree. Expect the unexpected, and you don't agree with what? I agree that it's, uh, if you work hard, you'll get what you want because that's what I'm doing. Really the two main characters. The two main characters get the wrong, they don't want the job that they want. Okay. They didn't get the job that they want. Okay, I like so that you back that up with some they evidence. They raise or they switch jobs. Okay. Wait, have I talked to you guys? Yes, I have. Here we go. The burning frog. I forgot that's your team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. What theme did you think of? Um, I thought of, like, I said, the unexpected. Um, and the reason why I think it's that is because um, they expected to get the jobs that they wanted, mm -hmm. and they didn't get those jobs. Mm -hmm. And then... Okay, good. Okay, what, um, I see that you have more than one. Do I see three on there? Uh, this one's not first. Okay. Okay, what do you think? Um, I, I think it's Okay, so what are some of your, um, ideas of, or text evidence to back that up? Do you want to have any text evidence? I know you use some text evidence to back yours up. Yeah. What else? I have some for this one. Okay. And I have to tell Marley, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, when they got their job, at first, the main character got a whiteboarding job, and then she, and then she got to switch. Yeah. So she, she was like, oh, damn it, now I gotta go down there. Right. Also, the character was going to deliver a message. Mm -hmm. It was some kind of house, and there was like a meeting house, the mayor was there. Yeah. And she was like waiting for the people. Mm -hmm. to come and talk to her to get the message and she climbed up to the top of the roof and was looking and then everyone came up there and started looking at her and she got in trouble. Good, yeah. Okay, so I think that you guys are doing a really good job of figuring out what the theme is and finding out um, text evidence to back that up. 
So now let's turn and talk about how does all these lessons that our author is teaching us apply to our life? Are we using these lessons? Do we recognize when these lessons are popping up in our book? What are you guys thinking? Um, this one is, for example, in real life, mm -hmm. it could come up when you want, when you're like going to a store to get something, so you bring your money mm -hmm. and it's like out of it, so then you're like, I go to a different store. Okay. You didn't expect to do that. Okay, yeah, that's a real life, everyday type of situation, and isn't it? For this one, it's kind of just like I gotta save up for this, so I gotta use for it. Oh, good. I like that outlook. Yeah. So you're kind of like thinking with the end in mind. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Very good. It could. This happened before in Missouri a couple of years ago. It just randomly started raining out of nowhere. <laughs> like it was a bright Missouri. Day and it just started raining. <laughs> I know. It could look beautiful outside and just start yeah. doing weird weather stuff, huh? I agree. Okay, so I think that you guys are doing really good on this skill right here. But I have in my notes that we talked about the setting. So what are some of the settings? Because I have here that we have see clues. I don't think that we 100% understood what the setting was in our book quite yet. I do. I do. You are, okay, so can you remind me of the four types of, or three types of fantasy settings? Medieval. Um, futuristic. Futuristic. Ordinary. ordinary ordinary so that means like it looks ordinary in the beginning and then magic starts happening like like harry potter it's most like this book is most like an ordinary book ordinary okay that's what i had in my notes right here so what are some of the clues that show that our fantasy setting is ordinary it's kind of like um it kind of just seems like a regular town like regular streets regular lights except for all the blackouts and stuff okay until they mention that Outside the city, it's all black. There's nothing. There's just blackness. Okay. So, like a void. I think that's a turning point where, like, the magic starts happening. Okay. The blackouts? Yes. Okay. Or the blackness outside the town. Ooh, okay. Do you have any predictions about what's going to happen to that town? Um, it's going to go on a blackout for, like, a bunch of days. And then it's going to be like... Yeah, I have a prediction sure. that Doom, which is one of the main characters, mm -hmm. and the other one, I forgot her name, are going to go and like try to save Ember and like stop the blackouts because um, Doom got yeah, pipe work, and, and that's where the, the, that's the generator is there, mm -hmm. and I think that he's going to like try to fix it because it's like falling apart. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're going to do, actually. <laughs> Good, I like that. Yeah, I have to like, add on to this. Sure. Because when he, like, it's like, no, he wants to fight for it. Like, it's tough, but he wanted to do it. So, he made like, that's awesome. Oh, that's good. Gosh, are you guys getting excited about this book? Are you starting to get good? Yeah. We're past the kind of learning the background information. We're starting to get into the actual plot of the story. Mm -hmm. Very good job. All right, I'm excited to talk to you guys next. The next time we'll talk about is some of the characters and what their jobs are, okay? So make sure that you have in your notebook the theme and how it applies to you, and then you can get on to your spot that you need to be at. All right, great time, guys. Thank you. You're welcome.